around at that time will remember their arrival was not all that excited, well, it was full of excitement, but it was full of controversy because a lot of people didn't really care for the shuttlecocks and they, they saw them as an affront, <coughs> an affront to the museum's um, aspirations, the temple on the hill, all of those kinds of ideas that people were talking about stayed and stolid and um, the shuttlecocks were just a bit out of the ordinary. And they were front and center on the South Lawn in particular, and they created quite a controversy. So over the years, 15 years have passed, and now, of course, I think we can say that they are almost universally beloved by the city, by the people who come to visit, and certainly by those of us who work here at the Nelson Atkins. And I think if you watch children come to the park, we have school kids come over any day during the week and you will see school kids going crazy running around and they love the shuttlecocks, but so do adults. So they have really come a long way. So what were they? Where did they come from? This is an exhibition, Inventing the Shuttlecocks, that gives us a rare opportunity. You know, often if you have a great painting or a great sculpture, you might have some photographs about it, you might have a, a drawing or two that the artist made in preparation for it, but we have virtually, not every single drawing, but we have most of what the artists created in advance of actually arriving at the final shuttlecock sculptures. So it's a rare opportunity for us to get inside the artist's mind, get inside the artist's vision, thinking, feeling, and discover what they were about as they created the piece. The piece was, as you know, a site-specific piece. What does that mean? Well, it means that it was created for this place, not for any other place. It wasn't just created and then it could go here or we could put it there or it could go to this. It was about Kansas City. So when artists create a, a, a site-specific piece, of course, first they're considering the physical space that the piece is going to occupy. And that was a key factor, and we'll come to more discussion about that. But they were also considering, what is this place? You know, what is Kansas City? What is the Nelson Atkins? What are the qualities of the Midwest? Where do we draw from here? How can we create something that's unique to this place? And so as you go around, you see, first of all, this playful, fun image, and that is key to their thinking. It was about play. Considering the site, the Nelson Atkins, in this open space on the South Lawn, the Nelson Atkins crowning the crest of the hillside, a great institution, one of the greatest institutions in the country for uh, encyclopedic collections, all of those things with its allusions of the architecture to uh, neoclassical architecture, to classicism, to uh, certainly Beaux-Arts, where, uh, where the architecture stems from. So that was one thing they were responding to, and they felt it was a little, a little too serious, and they needed to lighten things up and it, they began to think immediately about the idea of some kind of a game, some kind of playful quality happening out here on the lawn. And they played with a lot of different ideas, and the creative process, as you know, any of you, no matter what you're doing, writing words, writing a story, it's creative, and it's a lot of fun to think that way. So their process is very playful and very interactive and associative and making connections, and they came up with, finally, the idea of the shuttlecocks. 